Future Sight here with Dr. Pierre Belanger, and we're here to talk about how AI gets your heartbeat on abnormal heart rhythms. Uh, first question, Pierre, what prompted you to develop an app to solve the, the present heart disease diagnosis scenarios? Well, one of the key things in heart disease is, is prevention. Being able to detect early uh, the, uh, the change in the heart, the uh, and so you might be working or going up the stairs, you might have a little heart pinch. You ignore it because it doesn't have any consequence. On the other hand, it might be a precursor to an actual massive heart attack or a heart problem. And uh, you may end up going to your GP, saying that to your GP, and it will make, for example, a measurement with 12 DDCG, the standard measurement, and find nothing. Then suddenly you get out of uh, the GP office and you have a massive heart attack in your in your car and the reason for that is because like cars need to be monitored continuously in order to know if they're working efficiently and they're working properly in some way the human body has to be measured the same way this is this is really interesting uh, Pierre so how does this technology that you're working on uh, provide advantageous that other companies or other technologies may not have at present, like Apple and others? Yeah. So one of the things we, we decided to do is we follow quite closely a small company in Montreal called Exoskin, which actually was working for the Canadian Space Agency to monitor uh, astronauts in the space station or eventual Mars mission. And uh, they develop a special vest that would measure not only heart at three places, breathing, temperature, skin temperature, accelerometer, which is basically your motion, as well as blood pressure. And all these parameters can be monitored in real time and uh, live and recorded for hours. So being expert in processing this type of data, what we decided to do, and then my, my student here is working on that, developing special algorithm that would actually detect anomalies as you're wearing the vest. That's really interesting. Now, explain to us how you utilize deep learning and neural networks in the application development yeah. of this app. So, so deep learning, uh, what we, uh, in order to, to use AI for, for that, what we have to do is get sample data, basically examples that we need to record. So uh, in order to get a reference, if you like, you're going to wear the vest and you're going to be sitting down, doing a bike, uh, uh, being at rest and this will become if you like your patient specific model if you like your reference model so it's and personalized for personalized you. that's right and then from that uh, the system will actually train a model the neural network in order to actually decide this is normal this is abnormal so we will have other type of data that uh, a doctor would have said to us these are abnormal conditions and then the neural network will be trained and once it's trained it will have more or less the same capability as the doctor to classify as a normal and abnormal. That's great Pierre. We're going to be right back with our next episode and the next question and then some demos. Thank you very much. Thank you.